Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a fun project using the Lemon Twist collection from Simple Stories. This collection is one that they released, um, let's see, it would have 20 in 2021. And it was so popular that it sold out really, really fast. And so they brought it back for 2022 as a re-release. So I will link it down in the description box below, but make sure that you get your hands on this collection. The color scheme is so unique. The artwork is gorgeous and it is perfect, perfect for summer. So on to, let's talk about the layout that we're working on here. So I have the black, um, this four by six card pattern paper that I am using as my background. It's black with um, white polka dots. And then I have traced a triangle on the back of this, um, the teal butterfly paper. And I'm just adhering that and then trimming off the excess so that I have two corners of the yellow plaid pattern paper. So after adhering it, I just take um, my scissors and trim off the excess. Honestly, here I should have taken the branding strip off first. I don't know why I didn't, but anyway, here, we'll take the branding strip off just using um, my paper trimmer. And then my idea for this layout was to have a line of florals going along the border of the yellow papers and then with my photos in the center. So I have two photos that I'm working with for this layout. They are both uh, three by four photos of me that I have printed in uh, black and white. And I'm just using some um, eighth of an inch double-sided tape from scrapbook.com to adhere my photos to the frame. And so I just put that adhesive on and then I kind of place it over um, where I want my photos and press it down really well and then trim off the excess that way. And that way I know that I have the placement just right and my photo sizing just right. And then you just trim off the excess um, with a pair of scissors. And as I mentioned, I want to have two photos, or excuse me, uh, two lines of florals diagonally um, on either side of my photos. So I'm just making sure that I have my photos exactly how I want them in that frame. And then for the title on this page, um, I'm using the title Sweet Life, and that's from the chipboard set uh, in the suite or excuse me, the Lemon Twist collection. So I'm using my package of floral bits. I just dumped out the whole package into this little um, kind of white or clear plastic tray. And I'm just taking those florals and tucking them in and placing them on top of that bottom line of the gingham pattern, pattern paper. And some of them I'm putting on top, some of them I'm putting underneath, some of them I need to trim a little bit to make sure they fit. I'm also alternating the colors so that I have a lot, so that I don't have all of one color of those flowers. So I just want to go teal, yellow, teal, yellow. Um, to kind of have a variety of of color and then also of the flower types. Um, I don't want all of the same flowers right next to one another. So I am adhering a lot of these florals with pop dots. I wanted to make those flowers pop off the page, literally. And so I'm using some foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. On some of the flowers, they I do put some tape runner adhesive 
um, to keep them in place, but for the most part, they are adhered with these um, foam dots. I love the foam um, squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. These ones are especially nice for this project because they are black, and so you won't ever see like a a big white square sticking out. It will just blend in uh, with the background. So I have that, just that one spot kind of down there at the bottom where I'm struggling to find um, a piece that fits. And so I took just a little bit of a flower that I'd already cut off and it's actually just the greenery, like the leaves. And I end up kind of trimming that and making that work in that spot down there at the bottom. And I have a little bit of the flowers hanging off the edge of my background. So I'm just taking my scissors and trimming, uh, trimming the excess. So before, I should have placed my photos before I adhered my flowers because I did want some of those underneath or my frames under the flowers, um, but I just carefully peeled those up and we'll put those in place. So the journaling for this layout is a little bit longer and a little bit, um, a little bit personal. And so I wanted to make a pocket behind my photos to put the journaling in. So I just took a few strips of eighth of an inch foam adhesive. This I get from scrapbook.com. And I use that to make the pockets behind my photos or really any pockets. By having that little bit of the foam there, it makes whatever you're sliding in and out of the pocket super easy. So I want, I trimmed down that piece of pattern paper, kind of that blue pattern paper to fit behind my photos. And I'll come back and um, finish that up in just a minute. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to get my title in place. And right there below the flowers on that chipboard frame, there was a phrase, and I honestly don't remember what it says, but I needed to cover it up because it was going to be partially covered with um, my title. So I just got a label from the sticker book and put that over top of that phrase so that you would just see that label there and not an, an incomplete phrase. So I adhered my title with liquid adhesive. I try and adhere um, most if not all of my chipboard either with foam adhesive or um, liquid adhesive. I find that um, it lasts a lot longer if I do it that way. So I have two um, tickets that I got from the uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes in the collection pack and I'm putting those on the along the top of the pattern paper that I'm going to use for my journaling and I'm just using that as a tab. So I just put one of those stickers on each side. You could definitely just use a piece of pattern paper or a piece of cardstock on the back. I knew that I wasn't going to use all of those tickets and so I just put one on the back so that it's it, that sticker doesn't stick to my background. And so now I'm taking a piece of the journaling, the journaling spots pattern paper. I can't remember the name of that, but it's the pattern paper that has all the journaling spots on it. And I, I take this one and actually turn it on its side. And that's what I will use for part of my journaling. I will say that I really struggled with this layout. It was not one of those projects that came together as easily as I wanted it, would have wanted it. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But um, for right now, I am planning on putting all of my journaling here 
on this card. Um, to add the date, I just am going to use the my new favorite date stamp, which is the Paige Evans date stamp that comes in. Uh, that is part of the Splendid collection and using black ink from scrapbook.com. And I just stamped the date um, that I made this layout. And I did that so that I can, um, because that's the day that I'm telling the story, not necessarily, because um, those two photos were taken on different days. And then I thought about embellishing this um, card a little bit more. Um, I did add one sticker and a couple of staples, and I believe that that is how I leave the journaling that journaling card for um, for this video. So now I'm moving on to embellishments, and I kind of had planned to have just a couple of butterflies, like three butterflies surrounding the photos. And when I went to find those butterflies, they were a lot bigger and kind of overwhelmed the, the layout more than I wanted them to. I wanted them to be a little more subtle. And so I started going through um, the sticker book and more ephemera and trying to find butterflies that that worked well for what I had in mind. And I carefully put these two butterflies that I found in the sticker book on the layout, but it still just wasn't looking exactly how I wanted it to. And honestly, at this point in the process, I was feeling really frustrated because this the layout just wasn't looking like I had imagined it. So here in just a minute, I actually shut off the camera and kind of stepped away for a few minutes and then came back and figured out how I wanted to finish the project. So what I ended up doing was taking some of these stickers from the sticker book and I put them on white cardstock and I trimmed, just cut them out. And I did that so I could move them around and use foam adhesive and um, play with them a little bit before I adhered them to the layout. So that, the flower that I'm working with right now, that's one that I, that came out of the sticker book. And it just gives it a little bit more um, bulk. The the stickers in the sticker book are, um, I think they're made for planners and I love them and I use them in my planner, but sometimes I want something a little more substantial if I'm putting it on a layout. And that was the case with, um, with these few stickers. And especially with the butterflies, I don't like to just flat adhere a butterfly sticker to the background. I like to pop up the wings and adhere the center of the butterfly so it kind of looks like the butterfly's flying. I don't know. That's probably a little bit um, over, yeah, overkill. I don't know. It's, it's probably not necessary, but it definitely is my preference. So that's what I did. I'm just using a little bit of liquid adhesive in the center and then pop dots on either of, on either side of the wings so that um, I can adhere them that way. So I have three pretty small butterflies, definitely a lot smaller than um, the ones that are in the ephemera. And I just adhered one on each side of the photos and then that yellow one that goes above the photos. The other thing that I was really struggling with was it, the layout seemed really off balance at this point. I had more on the top half of the layout than I did on the bottom half. So what I ended up doing, um, instead of putting all of my journaling, which I will still put, I'll probably handwrite the rest of my journaling and put it behind the photo on that um, journaling card that I made. 
but I did put some of them, I did type out and print some of my journaling. So I just typed it out, printed it on white paper on from my printer, and then I cut it into strips, and then I put um, an eighth of an inch of double-sided tape on each strip, and that's what you'll see me peeling off the back of each of the strips is um, eighth of an inch double-sided tape. Someone did ask if I use sticker paper. I personally don't, but that would be um, a great option. It's just a little too expensive for the amount of scrapbooking that, that I do. But sticker paper, yes, would be a great option. So to finish this off, I wanted a few enamel dots and there are not enamel dots that come with the Lemon Twist collection. So I went back into my stash of Simple Stories products and found some black enamel dots. These ones, um, I believe it's the Happily Ever After collection, but any black enamel dots will do. And that is what I used to finish this project off. I'm so happy with how it came together. It was not an easy project for me, but I really, I really do like the end result. This is a really fun collection to play with. So make sure that you um, click through and, and get it before it sells out again. So thank you again for stopping by. I appreciate you being here and I will see you again soon.